Here are the onions and wheat and barley that I grew and decorated my garden with last year. I'll show with you what I have. This right here is the blue solenage leek. It takes two years to go to seed. And once it does, at the end, it gives you these big fat seed balls that look great in a fall decor. Next to it, this is the Burbank Black um, Barley. And mine looks a bit more like the Egyptian Black Barley. But I like that color contrast. You see the leaf is black. If you, you have to cut it when it's black, it will get sun bleached. If you wait too long, in the distance, you can see two different types of wheat. That is the blue wheat, and that one gave me a lot on each plant. You can see how it has one, two, three, three different ones, and one might have fallen off while I was waiting, holding it over for this fall display. Look at the beautiful awnings on the black barley next to it. It's just nice. And then finally, this is our um, California desert wheat here. This one here, this is um, white Sonora desert wheat. You can see it has the plumpest granules. It grows the best in my area. And it can grow in both sun and part shade. Let me see, this one's a little skimpier, but you can see those are really good wheat kernels. And so, the barley I grew in a container, so you can see up close the barley. It's really nice, isn't it? So you can pick up some things from the uh, food section of the store, grow it in a pot. I grew these in pots and I grew them in the ground. The blue wheat grows best in a pot. Of the ones I grew in a pot, this one grew the tallest in a pot. It was more acclimated to a pot. It was great. The blue solen age leek flowers great tall. It grows three to four foot tall in a pot. And the wheat there grew, um, the blue wheat grew um, maybe three or four feet tall. And you can see how it put on all those fruiting sections. Whereas the barley, I'm gonna try that in the ground this year. It came later than the wheat. This came in the summertime. It was very drought tolerant, um, but I don't feel like I got a great harvest out of it. I just found it to be more decorative. The um, Sonora wheat is a spring wheat for most, but it's a winter wheat for me. And it put on a great harvest, but it didn't give me as much as the um, blue wheat did. So the thing about the Sonora wheat that I should admit to is it doesn't just give you one harvest. You can't sickle it like the modern wheat. What you do with this one is you go out and you pick the, the wheat that's ready and it will keep on bearing through summer. So it starts bearing in the um, spring and every week, the same wheat plant will put on another branch with wheat on it. 
So I guess maybe that's where it's different. That's the way it gives you. So you get about five or 10 um, wheat flowers from each plant. So the barley, I only got one, but um, like I said, no, no, I'm sorry. I got like three or four from the barley plant. It grew, I might've, I might've got 10 from the barley plant. It was in a pot, so I don't even know how many plants I had, but it did keep putting on barley too. So, but I'm gonna try growing my barley um, in the ground. I've got it in the ground right now to see if it gives me more food in the ground or let's be honest, more flowers. But I'm really happy with this. This is my base. This, this base and the um, just the straight stuff that's not food was given to me by my neighbor. She redecorated and I got this. And I um, grow myself a display every year and then plant it out after fall. <laughs> yeah, it works for me. So, you know, that way you're not having to buy something special for this. You just take some of your seed heads and use them for a fall display. And then, you know, put them, put those, take those seed in your greenhouse and grow them out for your food. I ate those leeks for two years. They were delicious. I've got some new leeks started. Let me just try to give you, because this is a tall display, this display. I'm not, yeah. let me see maybe. Yeah, there it is, you can see. It's very humble, beautiful, and, um, Praises the Lord for the harvest. I saw a lot of these kind of airy displays in um, Better Homes and Garden Decorating Magazine. Even Martha Stewart had these out on the patio because I live in a wilderness area. If I put this out on my patio, I'd have a whole bunch of birds eating wheat and barley and I just have the awnings left. That would still be pretty, but I plan to plant this wheat and barley, so I don't want that, <laughs> okay? I actually, when I went to buy more blue solanate, the, the blue wheat, they didn't even have it in stock. And in, in the garden, I thought, it's not blue. But now that I see it, this wheat is definitely white. That wheat has a blue color. And then the black barley definitely has a black color. I hope to get more of that for next year. And I hope to be better at saving my um, leek flowers in a couple of years too.